everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day. I haven't done a video like this in so, so long. In fact, I think the last time I did a video like this was a year ago when this little guy was born. Look, he's even looking at me like, Mum, what, what are we doing? I'm bribing him with biscuits at the moment. He's not going to stay here long. But today I wanted to do Elliot's one year update video and kind of just celebrate the fact that tomorrow this little guy is turning one years old. I just can't believe it. I mean, I know it's a complete parent cliche to say the time flies, the year's gone so fast, but honestly, with him, oh, growling, it honestly has gone so quickly. With our first child, Archie, you looking at me? Hello, Georgie. Gorgeous. With our first little boy Archie, it obviously did feel like it went really fast because, you know, I think it does for every single parent, no matter how old your children are. But it felt slow in a lot of ways too because we were always waiting for that next milestone, like the first tooth, the first Baby. time he ate, <laughs> the first time he walked or talked. And we were like, come on, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? It felt like time was going so slowly. But with Elliot, maybe because we've already been through that or because he's a completely different child. Um, he was just doing things and like hang on a minute you're not meant to be doing that yet slow down like time slow down so this year honestly has felt like the fastest year of my life I cannot believe that tomorrow is the 29th of May already <laughs> you got a mouthful of biscuits this time last year it's the day before his birthday I was getting so uncomfortable I was I think nine days overdue because he was born on the on ten days overdue um, and we went for a really really long walk around a huge like big um, park I was just so fed up by that point um, but by about nine o'clock that evening my contraction started and he was born at one something in the morning how bad is that second child problems already forgotten but if that's a completely different story that's like my labor and delivery story which i do have a video on so i'll link that below if you've never seen that if you're maybe a new subscriber this year or you kind of just found me through this video i'll link that below for you say bye 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 is that kiss did you play kisses bye kiss <laughs> On you. Our first year with Elliot has been amazing. He is the sweetest baby, but he's also a very clingy um, baby as well. Um, so I've spoken about this before, but it did take us a long time to get into any kind of routine with him. We found it quite a bit of a shock because Archie slept through the night from nine weeks, which probably isn't the norm. Um, Elliot was nine months before he slept through the night, so he was breastfed until he was six months. I really enjoyed that experience and that bonding time with him, um, and I felt really proud of myself that I was able to do it. Not that if you can't do it for any reason, you shouldn't feel proud of yourself. I'm not like a breast is best type person, bottle fed, breastfed, whatever works for you, your baby and your family. I didn't breastfeed Archie, so I was really proud that I managed to stick with it because it wasn't easy to start with and I feel like um, it's something you really have to persevere with to get through those first few weeks and then after that it became kind of easy it became normal it became really convenient because we didn't have to sterilize wash up bottles and make up formula and stuff um, so I did that for six months but it did become quite stressful on us as a family because um, Elliot just wanted to be with me I, I had to work like I haven't had maternity leave with either of my children so it was very difficult to get anything done he took a bottle relatively easily and we weaned him off breastfeeding onto the bottle and at that point I feel like we really started to establish more of a routine up until six months he rarely napped in the day it was really difficult I don't know how he used to do it he would go through the whole day without sleeping which as you can imagine made him very cranky and he he cried a lot and we did we struggled I'm not gonna lie we struggled at first um, and just getting used to having two babies is hard in itself. But I feel like once we got to about six months and we got into that kind of routine, we knew when he was gonna nap, um, we knew when he was going to bed, things got a lot easier. So if you're going through that kind of those early weeks and months at the moment, 
please know that it does get easier. Maybe I could do a video on like a six month old routine or something at some point if you'd like that. Elliot now has six teeth. Um, he got his uh, his top two teeth when he was about four months old. He hasn't actually had any through for a few months now, but I feel like um, the incisors on the top are coming through. So he's got four on the top, two on the bottom, but I feel like the next two are coming through at the top before the bottoms next set if that makes sense um so he's gonna look so funny he's gonna have like a row of teeth at the top and then two at the bottom another thing that a lot of people comment on with Elliot is his size um he was six pounds 13 when he was born so not a big baby by any means but I feel like literally from the first week he just went like he came out a tiny baby and even from his first like, health visitor check she was really shocked at the weight he'd put on, especially being breastfed. He just put weight on and on and on and on and just got massive. If you ever saw my updates, I'll put some here on my Instagram, you'll know that by sort of three months, he was in three to six month clothes and by six months, he was in like six to nine month clothes. He's always been big for his age. He's on the 75th centile for his height. Um, but surprisingly on the 50th for weight, so he's kind of smack bang in the middle for his weight and he's um, slightly taller than average, I think that's how it works out. I feel like his height and weight growth have definitely kind of slowed down and evened out in the last 3-4 months. He doesn't seem that big for his age now, I mean he's going to be one tomorrow and he fits quite comfortably into up to 12 to 18 month clothes in some stores and in others he's in sort of still 9 to 12 months so it does vary um but I feel like it's evened out but he is so heavy I mean I show everyone you probably can't even see it on the camera it probably looks pathetic but I have quite a noticeable little muscle here that is all from carrying around that child <laughs> for the last 12 months. So I suppose that leads quite nicely on to weaning. We weaned Elliot at just before six months, like a couple of weeks before like we did with his brother and everyone was like, oh he's gonna love his food, he's gonna eat so much, he's such a big boy and I knew what was coming. He hated food um, and he didn't really touch much for about two months. He hated the texture of anything um, and it, it did worry me because Archie just ate whatever was put in front of him from day one um, so it was quite difficult for a couple of months and I just thought like why won't he eat when will he eat but just like with everything else it came eventually so at about eight months he was eating a lot more um, he did start on more pureed food and he was on um, very pureed food for quite a while because he just hated the texture um, and he would gag and choke a lot on like the tiniest little lump or bump in food but now he's 12 months he's really really good we didn't start with baby led weaning it always kind of worried me a bit but where we're in now a family of four Archie's eating a lot of like finger foods and normal dinners he kind of just has to fit in so he does get like normal food to eat like he's had little pieces of pizza he has like fruit and vegetables chopped up he has finger foods and he's very very good at just sitting and eating them now um, he'll pretty much eat most things. I'd say he's a little bit more fussy than Archie was at this age, but he will eat most things. So um, in the last four months, his eating has just come on leaps and bounds and he'll just pretty much eat whatever we put in front of him until he gets to that fussy toddler stage. Then I'm kind of dreading it because I think he might be a very fussy eater when he's a bit older. Movement wise, he again, I felt was developing quite quickly um, as opposed to his brother. He was sitting up unaided at like four or five months old and would just sit up and just play with his toys um, and then he was pulling himself up at sort of I'd say around seven to eight months and from eight months he was walking around the furniture and now he pretty much will run around the furniture so we did think he would be oh he's gonna walk quite early as well but he's really really scared to take that first step I'm not sure if I've got any video footage of this if I have I'll insert it but he just gets so scared and he'll go back down to the floor he has actually taken a couple of steps every now and again over the last month or so he'll do a couple of steps and then go back down so he's definitely not one of these children that just suddenly gets up on their feet and starts walking around um, but Archie wasn't like that either so I can see it kind of gradually happening over the next few months he will stand in the middle of the room for ages um, not holding on to anything but he just can't take those steps so he just needs to get that confidence I think he started crawling at around eight months because what he liked to do is he liked to cruise from things and just walk from as long as he could hold on to things he would move from around and then he would hold on to our hands and just walk around all the time but as soon as he learned 
learnt to crawl, he kind of got a bit lazy with wanting to walk then and he would just crawl everywhere because that's quicker until he learns to walk and he'll realise that's quicker. With his talking, I don't really know if he's, I don't, I can't remember exactly what Archie could say at this point, but he can say like mama, dada, nana, brother, but it's kind of like baba. He says no, no, no a lot. He says dog all of the time. He's obsessed with the dogs and he'll just go dog, 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 dog. Everything's dog. Um, and he can also like raw, go raw like a lion, which is the cutest thing. Just in terms of his personality, he's a very clingy baby. He went through a stage where me and Ricky, like one of us, had to be with him. He, we couldn't leave him with anyone. Um, he would just lose it. Um, he's getting a little bit better now, but he's a very cuddly, kissy, clingy baby, which I kind of love, if I'm going to be honest, because Archie was never like that. He was very independent. He was always happy to go off and do his own thing, whereas Elliot's like, wants me or Ricky. And he has very, like, big emotions. So instead of in the mornings, like, Archie would call us to wake us up, he'd be like, Mama, Dada. Elliot just goes, wakes up and goes, ah, and just screams until we go into him. Um, but he also, on the other hand, is like the happiest, smiliest, cheekiest baby. He loves being played with and tickled and cuddled. And he will try and get your anyone's attention when we're out and about. He'll like wave at people and smile at people. We can't leave the house without like someone in a queue behind us having a full on conversation with him. So I just thought I'd end this video with a little message to Elliot, whether you're watching this in a few years time when you're a little bit older and you understand it, or if this is, I don't know, being played at your 18th birthday party and I'm embarrassing you right now. I just wanna say we love you so, so much from the second we laid eyes on you. We knew that you were the perfect addition to this family. Um, you've just slotted in so well, because you, you had to. You're the second child. <laughs> um, and we love seeing the relationship that you have with your big brother. I hope you're always as close as you are now and you, your relationship continues to develop and grow because it has been the most amazing thing this year, seeing the relationship form between you two. And I just hope that you continue to be the happy, cheerful, funny, bubbly, chunky, chubby little guy <laughs> that you are right now. Um, continue to make everyone that you meet smile and laugh. Um, and yeah, we love you so, so much. Happy birthday for tomorrow, baby. Mwah. We love you. And to you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on things that I may have missed out, any stages that you want to know about, then please ask them in the comments below um, and I'll try and answer as many as I possibly can. If you haven't already and you'd like to subscribe for more baby parenting lifestyle videos and vlogs, then there's a subscribe button down there that you can just click and you'll be subscribed to my videos. There's also a bell which will notify you whenever I make a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Oh, give it a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi guys! Everyone's just got here now to see Elliot for his birthday. <laughs>